Welcome back to Afternoon Live. Less than an hour from the city lies one of the most glorious parts of both Oregon and Washington. Here to share the best way to enjoy it, we welcome the author of the book, Day Hiking Columbia River Gorge, Craig Romano. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Hannah. Uh, nice to be here. Thank you, you have written lots of books now. 26. Okay, <laughs> you're busy. You're very, yes. As you're exploring just every corner of the Pacific Northwest, how do you start a project, like if you're focusing on the gorge, how do you start preparing for that journey? Yeah, it's just basically, you know, I, I, one of the reasons I love doing what I'm doing, it gives me an excuse to hike. There I you can go. go. hiking all the time. And that's exactly how I ended up in the gorge. My wife grew up down here, and I remember just driving through one, one year and said, you know, I really need to write a book on this area because there's so much I want to see. So I get the maps out and just you know, look at the area and decide wh where I want to, uh, where, where I want to cover, and then the fun begins, and that's going out and, and hiking every single trail. And again, I mean, everyone knows the popular trails, mm -hmm. the, the, the Eagle Creeks, the Multnomah Fall. For me, half the fun is finding those trails that people are just not discovering and then sharing them with people. Yeah. So that, that is, that is. Because um, you've got it covered start to finish for kind of every level of explorer. Yes. Folks who maybe have never taken a big hike before, you have everything they need to know before they even leave the house. Exactly. You know, it can be really complicated with all the different land, uh, land managing agencies, yeah. the permitting, uh, s there's some restrictions on when you can go, can I bring my dog? Uh, is this hike you know, good for families? Uh, so yeah, I cover all that. And same thing for every type of, uh, of um, range, you know, whether you're just starting or you're really hardcore. You know, I, I've got a young, a young son, so I know what it's like to, to bring someone. Yeah. I have a, you know, some older parents, but at the same token, uh, I ultra a marathon, so I, I like to put the, hard, you know, the hardcore stuff in there too and just wrap it all up and, and put it in one volume. That's so you know? cool, you've covered it all. Do you have any favorites or highlights from this book specifically? <sighs> one of the hardest questions I get asked <laughs> I <know. laughs> because I've hiked so many places. I'd say they're all my favorites, yeah. but that's not entirely true. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I, I again, a lot of the off the beaten path. I love the Trapper Creek area, mm -hmm. which is just north of uh, Carson, the Wind River Valley. Um, it's it's a less discovered area. It's got a lot of old growth forests. Um, really nice. It's a small wilderness area, but a very large trail network. Oh, nice! Uh, and so it's perfect for for easy day hikes, long you know backpacks, long trail runs. Uh, really good trail system. I mean, spectacular old growth forests great views, wildflowers. There's even a lake there, which is, you know, there's not as many lakes in the gorge area. Sure. So yeah, it's probably one of my favorites. Well, and know. people know some of the more popular waterfall, waterfall areas too, but there are so many falls really that run the span of the gorge. Yeah, exactly. You know, generally when you look at the gorge, I kind of break it up into, it's two different gorges. The, the Washington side is more wildflowers. The yeah. Oregon side is more waterfalls, but, but there's definitely waterfalls on, on the Washington side and sure. wildflowers on, on the Oregon side. But These um, images are so gorgeous. How do you go about, I guess, curating that part of the book? Yeah, that's, um, you know, what's interesting, you know, I, I, I can get out anytime I, I want, so I'm not beholden to the weather, which yeah. really makes, so people will look at my books like, doesn't it rain in the Northwest? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> because I don't need to go out when it's raining. Matter of fact, you'll love this. When my, my publisher, my editor, project manager, they're all looking at my photos, go, there's, you need to throw some rainy photos right. in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I had to go back to my, from the first edition sure. when I was out in lousier weather and throw some old photos back in because I, I mean, yeah, I was blessed to have all these great days. And then of course, on the east side of the gorge, <coughs> it truly is sunny there most of That's the time. That's true. So, they get yeah. a lot more blue sky out that direction. Right. But it just kind of depends on the elevation, the exact location, because some places you just can't even get to even this time of the season, are you exactly. still waiting for certain trailheads to open? Yeah, there is. And that's the another nice thing about the gorge, too, because you've got this low gap. You know, it's the lowest point in the Cascades, uh, or it's a gap. I mean, mm -hmm. it's pretty much at sea level. So you have a lot of hikes you can do year-round, um, you know, throughout the winter. And then you just follow the snow line up or the flower line. Yeah. So there's, you know, the, the peaks are still going to be another month or so to get up there. But there's so many, you know, other areas to go. And right now, the best place is that east side over near Mosier, the Dalles. Um, you know, white white salmon because the flowers. This this is you know, flower peak season That's right so now. That's so true. That's yeah. so fun. Do you have any? I guess of the family friendly ones sure. or any of those that you really recommend for folks who want to get out for maybe this weekend to celebrate Mother's yeah. Day. The, the Tom, Tom McCall, uh, the preserve. This is uh, the the Rowena Plateau. Mm -hmm. Very very easy, gentle hike. Okay. Flowers. You, now you can't bring your dog on on, on this hike, so okay. it's not a dog friendly one. So if you there's other hikes like you can go to to Catherine Creek, which is across the river. Uh, Mosier Plateau is another really nice. Uh, 
the Lyle Cherry Orchard is one of my favorite oh, okay. hikes. And that's the Friends of the Gorge. That's one of their properties uh, that's open to the public. And you can see a lot of the, the great work that they did in, in, in uh, protecting and this beautiful area. look at these area. stunning views. I've been to Lyle a couple of times. So and you, you know do Lyle. get yeah. this beautiful landscape just looking straight down at the river. That yeah. It's hard to beat. Yeah, and the other thing, and you get the views, and, oh, but the flowers. And then the other thing I love about, about the eastern side of the gorge too are the deciduous trees. You, mm. have, you have the Oregon ash, the, the, Gary, you know, the Gary oaks, the white oaks. Spectacular, so it just adds a whole nother dimension. Yeah. Well, I love seeing your excitement and passion for all of it, okay. and it's just so beautiful. Thank you for joining us yeah, today. Thanks for having me on. Okay. Uh, the book again is Day Hiking, Columbia River Gorge. Craig has a book event tonight at 7 p.m. at Powell's Books at Cedar Hills Crossing. We'll have all the information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.